Buenos dias y bienvenidos. Good morning, hot dogs. Hopefully you had a great weekend like I did. Antonio, did you have a great weekend? Yeah, I actually did. Shout out to Michael, Ivan, Isaiah, and Edgar. That's nice. I was in Indy this weekend. Not to the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Antonio, do you have the news for today? Mm, I think I'm going to need your help. Well, I'm glad that you asked. This year, our 75th state officer team led Indiana DECA in participating in the letter writing campaign. With Indiana DECA's help, this campaign was a grand success. In total, Indiana DECA sent 688 letters to COVID frontline workers. A big shout out to Region 2 for sending the most letters as a region, aka that's my region that I oversee, and Brownsburg High School for sending the most letters as a chapter. To continue in our community service efforts, the state officer team will participate in a Project Angel food drive. We will pick up food in Hendricks County area and deliver them to a local food pantry. Frank Verdeca, if you do community service, make sure to send it to me. Send me the pictures for I can put them in the Indiana DECA social media. Okay, also, juniors and seniors, please don't forget to keep checking your email for scholarship opportunities. Don't forget about the IUPUI, which is offering the George W. Carver Teaching Initiative or CTI scholarship, which is dedicated to the recruitment, retention, and support of high-achieving, underrepresented minority youth in, system, in STEM. You can go to Ms. McGuire if you have any questions. You can also check out the link in the chatter. Now let's send it to Manny with sports. The wrestlers went 2-1 at Lebanon this past Saturday. We got wins over Crawfordsville 54-6 and Tri-West 48-21. The dog's first loss of the season came to Lebanon 64-12. The wrestling team is now 6-1 on the season. Jimmy Osler and Brandon Wood both went 3-0 on the day and moved their individual records to 7-0. The highlight of the day came during second round against Tri-West. Emma Hillian was down 2-0 when, when she got a reversal and quickly put her opponent to his back for the win by fall. The dogs are back in action next week with a possible duel at Weibo Tuesday. At Delphi Thursday and at home Saturday for a triple duel. Winter football skills development starts this week from 6 to 7 a.m. Defensive players will practice Tuesday and Thursday. Offensive players will practice Wednesday and Friday. We will meet in the Ox Gym. After school, strength and condition will also be after school Monday through Friday, 3 to 4 p.m. These are open for anyone interested in joining football for the 2021 season. The boys basketball team won their first home game Friday night over Carroll, 63 to 51. The team went into the half with a nine-point lead. The team exploded offensively, scoring 25 points in the third quarter. The team was hampered by foul trouble in the fourth quarter, but pulled together and rallied to overcome a Carroll run. Riley Goodnight scored 21 points in the game. Deacon Spencer had a solid all-round performance, scoring 17 points and getting his hands on many balls defensively. Jade Ayers was consistent in dictating the pace of the offense. Aaron Valdez Sandoval did a phenomenal job anchoring his defense, communicating and hitting a clutch three to seal the game at the end. The JV team won 47 to 44. Kyle Kirby chipped in sixth in. Doug Wood had eight and Eli Holdem had seven. The team overcame a three to 18 free throw shooting performance to get the win. Now back to your host. Oh, thanks Manny. For lunch, we are having chicken strips and chef salad. Also, happy birthday goes to Skylar Bogard, Cheyenne Gordon, Elijah Martin, and Edith Regalado Lopez. This wraps up the morning announcements. Stay safe and stay motivated. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and also don't forget to click the bell for notifications. Have a great day.